Tuesday the 29th of October 1985 we've returned to London from London to see what the builders have been doing. First of all the carpenter has been building the, uh, the timbers for the floor of the front balcony and you can also see from this elevation that uh, they've finished uh, bricking the, the front wall with the side light so that it matches the rear. So they've completed the brick to the first floor level. They've put these large timbers in place, nicely jointed and nailed together. And across at the, uh, the guest room balcony, they've now put in this, uh, this wooden timber surround to the French windows. We'll go in and have a closer look at that. First of all, from this angle, you can see the, uh, the wooden surround and the fact that they've plastered that on the inside. Also on the external uh, elevation, they've now completed this chimney stack right up to above roof level. But it's uh, ready for the uh, finishing off up there. They're going to level off that stack, which is a brick wider than the other one. They're then going to concrete the mantle at the top. We've already got a pipe, which is going to be the socket for our weather vane, which will be quite a sight up there. And already that scaffolding is very high. I've been up there. It's a little rickety, shakes about a bit. And you get quite a wonderful view from there. Much cleaner lines to the uh, plaster work. And they've also cleared up this uh, large pile of bricks that was here last time we were filming. All of the walls have been stripped of uh, the wallpaper that was previously there. And this is the view one gets without going out onto the balcony, but just uh, moving towards these open doors. Shrub beds and the path down to the roadside gardens. Quite a view for our guests. This is the box bedroom and we've also done uh, both layers of the, of the plastering here and finished off that wall. It appears rather dark at the moment, that dark pink coloration uh, fades white as it dries out. So this has in fact been done today. You can see that the floors are still wet and it's too dark really to photograph it in this light. But uh, also beyond there in the hall, that has been skimmed with uh, plaster as well. We've not yet done the uh, Daniel's top layer of plastering, although they have put the, the foundation level of plastering in. They're probably waiting for that until they've got the woodwork up outside on the, um, the first floor that they can uh, punch through that hole there. Close a look at the framework outside. These large 6x2 joists that go uh, all the way through. And secured by these uh, galvanised brackets that are returned into the courses of the brickwork there.
balcony extends to these timbers here and then uh, from here on the flooring is uh, on the inside. Balcony starts there again and continues uh, close to the edge of uh, number six and uh, a little bit further than number seven there. Be a large balcony and this balcony will uh, catch the evening sun which uh, comes across the uh, sky over there. view from the back of the house. We had the swimming pool contractors here today who say that it's perfectly feasible to have a pool in this uh, corner of the garden and uh, they're drawing up some plans based on an oval or an ovoid design. This should be quite fun. Well we're now in uh, back to Greenwich Mean Time, British summer time has ended and uh, I therefore have to take the photographs in, the, in early afternoon when they're still working. And there's no doubt that the days are shortening. But until now the weather has held up, which is uh, delightful. And the work has been uh, proceeding pace. <laughs>